Non-Canadians, what comes to mind when you hear the word Canada? I'm Swedish and based on American pop culture I have always assumed it was like here but a lot bigger. Went to Sweden for our honeymoon, for the most part it felt like we never left Canada. Interesting choice. Where did you go? PRNT. Liberators. I am Dutch and my town amongst large parts of the Netherlands were liberated by Canadians. On Remembrance Liberation Day we do not just have Dutch flags flying but also Canadian flags. I was in the Netherlands many years ago for work, when some locals found out I was Canadian my food and bar tab was randomly paid for the entire evening, it was a very kind gesture. Very nice people in a beautiful country. When I went on a trip to the Netherlands as a teen, people thought we were American. When we told them we were Canadian, they immediately changed how they treated us and apologized profusely. It amazed me how well we were treated when people knew we were from Canada. Goose. Moose. I once heard they drop syrup on snow to make some kind of frozen popsicles. That's what comes to mind. Tire drabla. It's kind of like caramel on a stick made from boiling maple syrup, to remove water, and pouring it over a snowy table and attaching a tongue depressor to make a lollipop. Tongue depressor buddy, we call those popsicle sticks. S. You mean tire drabla sticks? These are also great for when your tongue is too high. Oh like a tongue depressor. Hockey, syrup, jean jackets, geese, and a surprising number of sexy celebrity men named Ryan. Driving over the border to go to the bar when you turn 19. Windsory feel hung over and dirty just thinking about it. Not that anyone asked for a story, but when I was 19, some friends and I were invited to spend the weekend at one friend's grandma's apartment in Windsor while she was away. Before we even get to the apartment, we stop at the beer store for provisions. We arrive in the lobby of the building, arms full of six packs, only to be met by a room full of sour face geriatrics in wheelchairs. This friend neglected to mention his grandma lives in a retirement community. According to my parents that all head over to Detroit as soon as they were 21 to get away from the Americans who came over here lol. As of this afternoon, house hippos. Do you have any idea how many Canadian children that commercial hurt when we realized they weren't real and couldn't have as a pet? Primarily the Red Green Show. It screened in Australia years ago and was the first Canadian production I remember seeing. I still think about the episode where he made a moped from a chainsaw and a bicycle in Handyman Corner. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. I'm a man, but I can change, if I have to, I guess. Keep your stick on the ice. And remember, I'm pulling for you. The flag, the first line of the anthem, and of course how nice they are. Everyone saying they're sick of hearing how nice they are and claiming they aren't nice, why? Nearly everyone I've ever met who's been there has a story of someone being extremely nice, not just polite. I lived in Toronto for a few months as an 18-year-old and it was the first time I'd ever seen a subway system. I loved it, but it was confusing at first. Early on, I got lost on my way to school and some guy in his 30s, clearly on his way somewhere important, dressed in a suit, had a briefcase, stopped and asked me if I needed help. I was meek and said no, but he insisted and took me to a nearby map. He asked where I was going and explained everything about the lines and times and just everything. I expected him to then hit on me or something inappropriate, but no. Once he was done he said good luck and continued on as though he hadn't just given up 10 minutes of his time. I'll never forget that experience. We actually love being nice to strangers. So much that we don't have the energy to be nice to our asshole friends. As a Canadian this is oddly extremely true. Yeah no for sure. Frig off Leahy. Cold. I also think of the group of Canadians I met at a festival once, calling themselves the A-Team, and they taught me to goose it out when looking for your group in a crowd. I still use that as my signal when looking for friends, it always works. Ada, I'm sorry y'all, I didn't mean to leave you hanging with goose it out. I will save you the effort of looking through the comments, hand high in the air, make the shape of a goose head with your hand, and turn at the wrist so it looks like the goose is searching. Helps you find each other when you get split up in a group because it's a unique signal when everyone else is just waving their hands. Ada, yes, again, I know it isn't a Canadian thing, peeps, chill.
It was just a group of Canadians in a silly goofy mood that came up with a unique signal to find each other when separated at a music festival. They weren't trying to make anyone think it's a thing, they weren't trying to prank anyone, they were just sharing their fun with us and I really liked it. The association is more about the rad guys I met and less about the signal they shared with me. That candy made of snow and maple syrup. Tire Drabla. N.M.Wikipedia.org. I am also tired and irritable. Me and the other Canadians being confused that we are on ask Reddit. It is rather odd. Sips from my tea cup of maple syrup. Grizzly bears and poutine. Canadian here and I'm appalled it took so much scrolling to find poutine lol. Blame Canada from South Park, bigger, longer uncut. South Park in general. The Canada-centered episodes are some of the most hilarious ones. As is tradition. American traveling to BC. I watched a very drunk Canadian man get into an argument, over hockey, with a police officer who was standing outside in a busy bar district. The man struck the officer closed fist in the face. Now, as an American what happened next was a true miracle. The officer held the man down to the sidewalk and made him apologize. After several minutes the man resigned, apologized. The officer got him up and told him to go home. The man began to leave but then explained he was too drunk to drive. Officer took him home, I was baffled. Truly. What a terribly Canadian scene. I still think about this. Edit, both officer and person were white males. Not pro-cop. Just a cop story. Rush. Rip Professor Peart. You got a problem with Canada gooses you got a problem with me, and I suggest you let that one marinate. Figure it out, bud. That's what I said, said figure it out. Get this guy a duck and puppers. Damn, ain't nobody heard of Terry Fox? It seems like he's very much a Canadian icon for Canadians. Same as Gord Downey. Apparently Cuba knows about him. They have the biggest Terry Fox run events outside of Canada. Hockey team inside a Tim Hortons drinking coffee saying it's the best coffee shop ever over and over edit according to the comments, also while simultaneously complaining about how bad the coffee is. Polite snow people who drink maple syrup because they use all their water for hockey ice. The rock pile. Hard as duck. The Canadian flag and then Ryan Reynolds. The kids in the hall. This is way too far down. 30 Helens agree. To be honest, as a Norwegian, me and some others think of Canada as Norway's big brother, as both the scenery and social welfare, as well as some customs are quite similar. What customs would you say are similar? And I'm curious, is Canada ever mentioned in political discussion in Norway? I find that Norway is mentioned a fair amount here when someone talks about social programs, etc. Norway Canada Circle Jerk. Sounds like a good time tbh. Brett the Hitman Hart Stampede Wrestling, Rod Snow, rugby player played in Wales for Newport for years, due south and hockey. Bret Hart was doing a charity event in my town, and I got all excited when I saw flyers at my job. My boss was really dismissive and said it was kind of immature. I told him I was 7 in 1993. I am exactly the right age to be way too excited for Bret the Hitman Hart. The Littlest Hobo Edit, Oh Yeah, and P-O-U-T-I-N-E. As a Canadian it warms my heart to see this answer. My dad would wake up early every Saturday morning, tape the rerun playing that morning, this was the early OOs, make pancakes or go get a McDonald's breakfast and then wake me up so we could watch it together and have breakfast smile he would love pointing out the locations, it was all shot around our area, and I think it was a trip down memory lane seeing how things used to look for him. This is probably my fondest memory of my dad.